Hello and welcome to Duncan TV News. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. I'm Mark along with the FTV crew. The staff proved too nimble for the juniors and defeated them in the pre-Power Puff game. Today we give thanks to the Yellowcrest ladies who served a cornucopia of plays and touchdowns to the Gammy Gals winning the day. Nice job at the Powder Puff game and to the coaches of the team. The Lemon Club is selling some delicious lemon cookies, two for a one dollar and lemon or strawberry cupcakes for two dollars each. They also have brownies bites, three for one dollar and and boy, are they worth it. This week is Spirit Week, and while there is no Pep Rally Wednesday, we can keep the spirit alive with supporting the days and the teams. Today is Twin Tuesday, and tomorrow is Color War Wednesday, mm -hmm. where each class wears a certain color. Freshman blank. Sophomores gray. Juniors white. Seniors blue. Which sports are starting starting in a few meetings are happening today. Wrestlers and managers meet after school in room 200. Girls basketball managers meet in the library after school. Girls basketball varsity tryouts and mini camp takes place in the wood floor gym both yesterday and today. Winter chair meets in room 110. The Falcon Express will be closed Wednesday. The National Honor Society meets today in room 31. Have you brought in a can? There is just one day left for the food drive, so please bring in even just one can. It can really help those in need. Cuts up 2022 selling class t-shirts <coughs> fitting for short sleeves and 24 to long sleeves. We have been giving thanks to our parents here at Oak Crest. We thank you for watching Falcon TV and we now head over to today's Oak Crest Veterans Honoring. My name is Glenn Hagen. I'm currently employed by the Greater Egg Harbor Regional High School District as a security guard. Uh, I've been in uniform law enforcement my entire life, ever since I left high school. I served July 78 to June 82, U.S. Navy. I was in dire need of a lesson in growing up. I was headed in the wrong direction as a kid, didn't do well in school, and I wanted to make myself uh, more employable when I came out. I was assigned to one ship, the USS John F. Kennedy for my entire four years, but that ship went all over the world. I got to see many places I could never afford to travel to on my own, in Africa, Australia, Europe, the Caribbean. The only uh, two things that I, was a 90-day sea service deployment for a, a cruise that was actually eight months, and I did get a good conduct award after the four years. It was the first time in my life that I managed to stay out of trouble completely and always do what I was told. The training was uh, easy physically because I was in good shape physically, but because I did not do well in high school. It was hard academically. I needed some help. I wanted to see the world and I knew that if I was in the Army of the Marines I would just be stationed at a base in one place. The ship had port calls all over the world so I got to see a lot more places. When it was time to go home I uh, had to be catapulted off the flight deck. The only plane I had ever been in before was a runway in a civilian airport. Going from zero miles an hour to 160 in a few seconds with a, a steam-powered catapult was colorful. You get thrown back and choked in the seat. And it was uh, something I will never forget. Just that I'm very grateful I did serve. I love our country. Uh, our military is a necessary evil to protect our country, and uh, I don't regret it at all.